Hi there and welcome to this two minute tips video and in this video we're going to be looking at using the LCD for focusing. With the D850 I rarely use the LCD, partly out of habit I was used to putting the camera up to my eye and using the viewfinder, but partly because live view wasn't always as responsive as through the lens focusing, because they use different systems to focus. With the mirrorless cameras like the Z series, using the EVF and the LCD are one and the same because they both use the on-sensor focusing points and system. And it's one of the things I'm trying to get used to using more, actually using the LCD rather than the EVF. So looking at the LCD, in all display modes, if you look at the left hand side about a third of the way down, you will see a small icon on the LCD. It's either a hand and a finger tapping a screen or a hand plus the letters AF or hand plus off. And these are the different modes for using the LCD screen for either focusing or also shutter release. And if you tap on the icon, it will rotate through touch shutter off, touch shutter on, or just touch AF on. So let's take a look at each of those. And let's start by looking at still images. And this is in relation to all of the um, area modes except auto area, and we'll cover that separately. So if we start with touch shutter off, so obviously this is um, both the focus and shutter release off. So no matter how much you tap the um, LCD, it won't focus the camera and it won't take a picture. If we move the mode to touch AF on, this allows you to use the LCD to focus the camera. And if we quickly tap the screen, it will move the focus area around the screen. So it's a very quick way of moving the focus area. If we tap and hold the um, a position on the LCD, it will move the focus area and it will also focus the camera, but it won't take the shot. You'll have to do that separately with the shutter release button. If we move to touch shutter on, this will not only allow you to focus the camera, but it will also take a shot using the LCD. And in this mode, if we tap and hold, then the camera will move the focus area, it will hold the focus, but it won't take the shot. It will only take the shot when you take your finger off of the screen. If you tap very quickly, the camera will focus and take the shot at the same time. Now I said these modes were only related to the area modes excluding auto area. If we now look at auto area when you're taking stills, if you tap on the screen, it will select subject tracking. So you will get a box on the screen and it will start tracking whatever the subject is within that box. You can obviously then disengage that by using the magnifying glass with a minus sign button at the very bottom on the back of the camera. So that was stills. Let's take a look at video because it's slightly different. Obviously when you're taking a single shot, actually tapping the screen, the LCD screen um, will take the shot. With video, where you're turning the video on and off, you still have to use the button that you've assigned for that. So tapping the screen will only focus the camera or move the focus area. Or if it's auto area, select subject tracking. What I'm finding is that using the LCD screen has some significant benefits. Perhaps when you're using a tripod and you want to stand back and you want to see the composition on the LCD, um, or where you're looking to move the focus area very quickly and using the joystick or the thumb control can take quite a while to move across the number of um, the high number of focus points across the sensor. So I hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments below, are you using the LCD screen more on the Z series than perhaps you've used on your DSLRs in the past? If you've enjoyed the video, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified of future videos. And I look forward to seeing you in a future video.